What's up, Amazon Survivors? This is KJ4 a and welcome back to my Let's Play for Green Hell. So far, guys, I've only put out episode one, but you guys have been fan-freaking-tastic. I'm going to start off this video right off the bat. I want to know. I need to know. Someone was mentioning something about an airstrip. They said this is not even an epic place to build. I should build it the airstrip. Now, what I need from you guys is two things. Number one... Is the airstrip in survival mode or is that, is that like, you know, maybe, uh, I can't believe I'm coming down here for a bath. Um, yeah. Anyway, is that, is, uh, the airstrip in survival mode or is that a story mode only thing? That's what I'm wondering. Um, let me know guys. Is it in survival mode? And if it is for the love of God, um, you need a key or something to get in there. Can you guys tell me where to get the key? What do I got to do? Oh man, I, I freaking want to, I want to find the airstrip so bad. Um, I hope I can. So I think our number one concern right now, let's take a look at our stats. Our number one concern is going to be fats. So I think we need to go find some nuts and probably do some more hunting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to drop off anything in my inventory. Don't worry, I'll eventually eventually um sort stuff although eh, i say that but <laughs> you know I, I say that and then i end up not doing it for like 10 videos but um i have let me put it this way guys i have every intention of organizing okay i can say that much uh we should probably also go set up the trap again the, the kill trap thing it, it's weird i think it's supposed to be like a deadfall trap but it's just called like a murder trap or something it's so funny to call a murder trap. Oh, one other thing you guys told me is that you don't need to uh, craft stuff to save anymore. There's like calendars on the walls or something, and we could save on calendars. I remember seeing something in the um, in the update notes about uh, different places to save, but I didn't see any calendars. And this is going to drive people crazy. Um, people go absolutely insane when I'm looking for something and I don't see it. And then I'm like, like imagine if I was looking for spray paint. I'd be like, I don't know where the spray paint is, guys. Where's the spray paint, you know? And it's probably happening like that right now with the calendar, but I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't really want to be looking around for a calendar for that long. I'm just going to check over here really quick. And uh, maybe you guys can tell me where it is or I'll find it off camera or something. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's not one in here. I don't know. I, I checked. Yeah, I checked. I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah, just let me know where it is in the comments. All right, so let's get out here. Let's check our killer trap, our murder trap. And I think another thing we want to do is we want to start getting these bushes out of here. Um, they're a problem for me in a lot of ways. Um, they, they, they kill my, my visibility. There's a snake over here. That's a problem. And we're eventually going to want to build here. Now, if I can get to the airstrip, I'll build at the airstrip. But I'm going to build here in the meantime. Um, I'm thinking if I had to guess, if I had to get, if I had to guess, I'm guessing the airstrip is, uh, is story mode only. But hopefully... Hopefully, that's not the case. Oh, oh, another thing I wanted to do. Um, yeah, let's do it now. I was going to do it at night, but I don't want to do it in the dark. Let's look through our book. Let's look through our book together. All right, so we can make a bow. Uh, let's go to the beginning. All right, hand drill, bandages, rope, Biden. All right, we're going we're gonna to find some coconuts today. I know how to do it. Um, stone blade, stone axe, weak spear, torch, axe. Now, I never made a torch before, so it's kind of weird that I know how to make it. I think you got to make stuff before, or find it. Before you know how to make stuff, but I don't know. Eh, whatever. I uh, can make a torch, axe, bone knife, stone spear, bow, arrow, stone pickaxe. Okay. And this is a lot of information about what heals you and stuff, anti-venom, stuff like that. Um, this is, again, more information for carbohydrates and how to, like, feed yourself, sanity, you know, stuff like that. All kinds of treatments and stuff, food poisoning, that kind of, that kind of stuff. All right, so this is interesting. This is my skills. So you can see my axes are 33 of 100. That means um, increases damage when I'm using the axe and reduces stamina usage. It's freaking phenomenal. Um, same thing with spears, blades, um, crafting, right? Uh, the durability on things will increase when I craft. Um, wait, you discover new, re new recipes with crafting skill? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. You got fire starting skill, cooking skill, archery, fishing, harvesting animals, throwing spear fishing all that kinds of good stuff over here i don't know what that is it looks like a oh that's probably clay it, look, it looks kind of like a melted ice cube uh these are a bunch of you know frames i can make i can make walls you know this is where i'm going to use to build my base um right here is fire we got the stone ring the small fire the grill rack um the dryer which is what i really like and what i like even more than the dryer is the bamboo dryer we should probably even make that today maybe maybe we'll see um, the water collector. Obviously, there's a water collector over there. That's where I learned that. Stone trap. Killer trap. 
Yeah, Killer Trap. It's a, it's a funny name, man. It's a really funny name. Spike Trap. This is good against um, uh, cannibals or not cannibals. They're uh, tribal people. I'm not sure what they're called in this game. Um, and then you've got the small shelter, the leaf bed, the hut shelter, bamboo shelter. You got all kinds of stick holders, log holders, all kinds of good stuff. Okay. So now we got that done. Let's continue along. That snake is supposed to respawn. I don't know where he is. By the way, anytime you break apart these leaves, you get these small piles of leaves. I'm just going to throw them on the ground. They'll eventually uh, dry out into um, dry leaves, and then I'll pick them up after that. Dude, seriously, where's the snake? It's really weird. Thought I heard him. Yep, there he is. So you got to break these apart, man, because look at that. Look at how close he was. Look at how close this guy was. I'll kill him every freaking time. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that pig was coming at me. He sounded pissed. Well, he's probably pissed because I'm about to set up this trap again. Catch one of his buddies. Yeah. You can also bait the trap, but it doesn't really seem that necessary. Plus, like, I think the problem with the trap for me is I don't go to it enough. You know what I mean? So, like, let's say I bait the trap, okay? Great, I, bait, I baited the trap. But I don't get there, I, I don't go to the trap often enough, and then whatever gets caught in it just goes, spoils and disappears. So I think baiting the trap is kind of useless for me, because I don't remember to go check it out anyway. So what's the point? There we go. Getting that axe skill up. That thing right there, that like spider looking thing, mushroom, um, it might have changed in this update, so take what I say with a grain of salt, but you can you can cook that for some good carbs. As a matter of fact, maybe I should grab it. What am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing fat. That's a problem. That is a real problem. I was supposed to look for um for unknown nuts, and I just sitting here doing anything but looking for unknown nuts. Alright, so let's come out here and look for some unknown nuts. What is that? You hear that? Huh. Sounds kinda like a kinda like a spider, but. I don't know. So anyway, you can get unknown nuts. Oh, what else can I get out here for fat? Oh, tribal, tribal people, tribal people. I am not prepared for these guys. The best I can do is hope they didn't spot me. If they spotted me, I'm going to be in a bad spot here. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game. Oh, man. I do not like that. I can't even go out and get fats, bro. Um, oh, that is rough, dude. All right, I'm going to go this way. By the way, whenever I save, it always does that. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to go over here and look for fats. I could just catch, like, maybe... Well, I could try and spear one of the tapirs or something, but, man, they're tough. They're tough, because you got to hit them a couple times. I'd rather set up some more killer traps. I still think that's a funny name. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look for some unknown nuts on this side. And I they don't drop from these trees. They drop from the other trees. Where are they? Where's the other trees? By the way, coming out here, like, kind of during the nighttime like this is a real risky move um, in this area because there is a big cat around here, and he, and he seems to be more active at night. So let me see if I can find one of these trees that the nut falls from. Uh, I don't see any. Oh, there it is. That's the tree right there. This is where the unknown nut falls from. But obviously it's not always there. Man, I really want to try and kill that thing, but... I don't know. I, I need something I can one-shot him with, you know? Alright, I'm going to try and spear this guy. I'm pretty sure this weak spear is not going to do anything to him, but we'll give it a shot because I'm freaking desperate. Uh, oh, wait. Can I not get it back? I just kind of threw it because it was, I was already in... Wait, where is it? It's kind of weird. I, was, I already had it, like, cocked, ready to throw, so I figured I would just throw it and pick it back up, but it doesn't seem to be here. Oh, that's kind of weird. I didn't think I'd, like, really lose it. Alright, well, what else? <laughs> nice! That was a headshot! Oh, there you go. All you gotta do is get him in the head. You know? Like Thanos taught us, you gotta go for the head. Man, this is gonna be really nice, because this stuff's gonna have a lot of fat on it. Which is just gonna save my bacon. Um, <laughs> not literally. Uh, so we are overweight now, because this meat is really heavy. We're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna eat it, and we're gonna eat this and we're gonna eat that just for the lulls. And we are eating while while dirty. That's a big no no. Um, thank God we didn't get sick though. That's kind of weird. I eat a lot and didn't get sick, so that stuff's not really weighing me down. But whatever. 
Oh man, what, what can I get rid of? I'm not I'm not chopping any of this meat. I don't give a crap. I'll freaking tiptoe back to camp. I don't care. So I did tiptoe back here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got a fire going. And uh, we've got some meat soup here. So there we go. Looking good. Now again, I'm still dirty. But I haven't gotten food poisoning yet from it. I'm wondering if that's a thing anymore. Can you eat dirty? Like, I've eaten like four or five things today dirty and did not get food poisoning once so i don't know guys i don't know i guess we're gonna have to kind of see how that goes i'm gonna leave that one and eh, whatever it's fine all right so what do we got all right so we still need fat all right so i have some meat over there by the way i had extra meat here i don't know where all this meat came from uh but that's really nice so this one's got seven hours so we're gonna go ahead and cook that one and we're going to cook this. We're going to have to make the drying rack, too. I'm not going to make it this episode, but I do have to make the drying rack eventually. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and eat that just for the fats. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of wasteful, but, you know, what are you going to do? You know, um, what we need to do is find some freaking um, unknown nuts. That's what we need to do. See how that goes. By the way, I have some, I have some things I want to do with the bone as well. We're not going to do that today. But, I, man, I've got... If you guys like this game, and I'm assuming you do because you're watching me play it, um, I've got a lot of content coming down the pike for this game. So it's going to be freaking phenomenal. Now, normally I would go to sleep right now, but I can't because I'm going to cook most of this meat. Um, at least all the stuff. There was two kinds of meat. There was 14-hour spoil and 8-hour spoil. Now it's 13-hour spoil. Um, I'm going to... Actually, I'll probably sleep through the night. I don't know if I want to start the fire again. I don't think I do. Let's just go ahead and uh, put some more wood on there. Uh, I could always turn... I could always put it out with the with the water yeah i'm gonna wait until this meat is cooked here i'm gonna go to sleep and i'm gonna wake up and cook some more meat and then uh and then i'm gonna show you the best way to get coconuts you guys are gonna love it don't don't miss out on the coconut thing guys uh, the coconuts seem super rare these days but there's a way to get coconuts and apparently it's been in the game since the beginning but we never needed to do it because the coconuts have been all over the ground but you know you'll see i'll see you guys in the morning Man, I swear to God, these pigs are walking right up to my fire as I'm cooking their friends. I mean, it's pretty freaking comical. It's almost like they want to get eaten. Um, all right, so what do we have left? I just slept through the night, by the way. All right, so seven hours. Okay, so I'm assuming when you cook this stuff, it lasts for longer. Yeah, look at that. That's one day. Yeah. Okay, so when you cook this stuff, it does last longer. So let's go ahead and just cook all of this up. Honestly, soup would probably be the best thing to cook, uh, but I'm not really set up for that. Um, because I basically what I need is I need more pots. I need to um, get more turtles. I'm wondering where the closest turtle spawn is. I think there's one at the um, the fishing village. Uh, there's definitely one at the anaconda camp. But I think the fishing village would be the easiest one for me to get to. So I'm thinking I want to get to... I want to go out and I want to go to the overturned jeep. Because I want to get the Biden there. Um, the Bidone. Uh, that holds 100... 100 units of water and then i want to go kill turtles and i think the fishing village is probably the best place to go kill turtles i could actually stay out there for like a day or two honestly um don't want to make yeah let's make soup let's make soup um yeah so that you know like i said guys i've got a lot of episodes planned a lot of episodes planned all right so we're gonna leave that right there that's taking a while to cook so why don't we go out and to kind of look around, see if I... Uh, I mean, do we even need to mess with that trap now? We've got more meat than we know what to do with, so... I don't think there's any real reason to mess with that trap. I think I'm going to take a little bit of time and clear these uh, these bushes out. Um, clearing these bushes out is going to take a while. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to do it a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, you know, if you do it that way, then it, you don't have to spend an entire freaking, you know, day doing this. Uh, you just do a little bit here, and you go out and do something else. Okay. And then you drop the leaf piles... I hear the pitter-patter of little feet. Oh, we're gonna need some carbohydrates too. When I was over there and I heard the um and I heard the the bad guys. Are they are they the bad guys or am I the bad guy? Say hey, say hello to the bad guy. Alright? So I don't know. Maybe I'm the bad guy. Who knows? Everyone's the bad guy, you know? Uh, but when I was listening to them uh, and like I ran away like a coward earlier, uh, I did see some bananas over there. So I think we need to go maybe try and find some bananas because we are gonna need some carbohydrates. Uh, but before I do anything, I'm going to save the game. And we're going to go out and we're going to look for unknown nuts and bananas. I don't want to sleep. I want to save, please. This thing's a little weird, right? There we go. You got to, like, hold over top of it. Yeah, we're going to be looking for unknown nuts. And we're going to be looking for nanas. Let's see if we can find some nanas. All right. 
going to go this way. We should probably make soup out of this, huh? How bad is our carbohydrates? Yeah, you know what? Let's grab that. How long does that last for? The mushroom. Oh, a day and three hours? We could wait a little bit of time. All right. You know what? That meat's probably done. We can't go too far with this meat cooking or it'll burn. Uh, so that's probably just about done. So we do have... <laughs> look at the pot. It's, it's freaking overturned, even though there's still water in it. So I was going to use the pot to make um, meat soup, but now I think I'm going to make uh, whatever the soup is that the that, that stuff I picked will turn into. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Let's find out. Uh, what is it called? Unknown mushroom. Okay. I don't know if you need to cook it, but, you know. Yeah, look at all this meat. I'll just eat it just for the hell of it. Like, honestly, I don't even need it at this point. All right, so the soup is done. It is mushroom soup. And 15 carbohydrates. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. So one thing you could use these boards for if you don't need them is um, you could put them on the fire to stoke the fire. But as I was just saying that, I also remember you need these to make storage. So I'm actually not going to use them on the fire. Um, you know, you'll, you'll eventually have enough of them where you could use both. Uh, but I'm going to save it for now. Also, these uh, these campfire ashes, these things used to be freaking ginormous. They made them a lot smaller, which is a which is a welcome change. I didn't realize how kind of dumb it was that the campfire ash was so big until they made it smaller. So that is definitely better that it's smaller. Also, also, I can't believe I forgot this, by the way. I can't believe I forgot this. You guys probably told me in the comments, like, 20 minutes ago. But I'm just going to let you know, I did figure it out. I did remember... I can't believe I forgot it. I'm, I'm shocked. And, um, well, I'm going to tell you right now, guys. This is how you get fats. All right? This is how you get fats. You put the uh, pot of water on there, and you make a bone infusion. I, how did I forget that? Man. <laughs> All right. Bone infusion, guys. That's it. Forget the unknown nuts. I don't need no unknown nuts. I'm going to get the bone infusion. There we go. All right. 10 fats, 15 protein. Actually, it's a really good freaking... Dang, man. Damn. I mean, damn. All right. So, you know what? Why don't we, uh, while we have the daytime, why don't we go out and I'm going to show you how to get coconuts, all right? Again, a lot of you guys knew this already. I didn't because I've never had to do it, all right? But this is how you get coconuts, okay? Make sure you have rocks in your inventory, huh? How you like that, Europeans? Inventory, huh? Huh? <laughs> you know, it's... What else? Um, aluminium? Do I have aluminium in my inventory? I don't know. I don't even know if all Europeans say inventory, but I know a few who do, and I think it's unbelievably charming. Um, I just love saying the word inventory. All right, so let's come out here, and let's uh, look for a specific tree. Uh, I'm not seeing any. I think you get what I'm getting at here. All right, nothing up there. Anything over here? I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. It's going to be okay. How's my carbohydrates? I should probably grab more of that. Uh... What is that? What's that walking? It doesn't sound scared of me. That's making me nervous. Oh, he's not scared of me because he didn't know I was here. All right, he's scared now. All right, so what you want to do, guys, is you want to find a coconut tree with a coconut on it. I'm going to go ahead and set... Eh, I'm not going to set that up. i got a ton of meat. I'm not going to kill stuff just, just to kill it. So, yeah, you want to find a coconut tree with a coconut in it. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to throw rocks at it. Okay. I'm surprised there was none over there. Um, I tested this off camera. And the one that had coconuts in it was over here. But I'm not seeing any coconuts now. Of course, right? Now, a lot of you guys told me, oh, just throw rocks at the coconuts in the tree. No problem. That's how you get the coconuts. The coconuts will allow you to make bedones. Um, but I've never had to do that. They're always all over the ground. So, yep, yeah, there's one right there. See, this is the one I got off camera. So what you do is, um, you just look at the coconut, you press G. <sighs> Boom! I don't know. I've never had to do it. Never had to do it, but you learn something new every day. There's my stone. I'm gonna take my stone back, thank you. Um, also, this tree right... What is that noise? Oh, it's an armadillo. These um these unknown fruits here, I believe they're poisonous. Or maybe you can cook them. I don't know. I think you can cook these and eat these. I think you can. I'm not going to because I don't need to. And I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah. So that is freaking cool. That's how you get the coconuts. 
Okay, now that we have some coconuts, we got to make the badone. Now, how do we do that? I have the uh, recipe, but I don't remember exactly how to do it. So let's come in here. And I think it was towards the beginning. There we go. It's just a coconut and a rope. Well, could not be easier. Uh, now, I think I need to, like, harvest it first. Because I can't quite craft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, harvest this bad boy. There we go. And then we're going to drink. Then we're going to craft. And then we're going to rope. There you go. Coconut badone. Yeah! That is going to be great. So now what we can do is we can start saving up water. Because this thing only holds 30. So what we can do is we can take this. Boom. Now we've got 10 in here. Oh, that holds 40. Damn, I thought coconut badones only hold 10. Damn, they hold 30. So now we can start storing up some serious, serious water. That is what I'm talking about. I think I think what we need to do is we need to get some turtles. That might even be my next video, to be honest. Um, I really want to get some turtle shells because I'd like to have a few of those um, of those containers. Uh, now we're now we're starting to thrive, guys. So when we when we episodes one and two, we were working on how to survive. That's not good enough for me. I'm not just going to survive. Like that's not going to work for me. Now we're starting to thrive, and that is freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome. So we're going to take this right there. How's it good meat? Oh, we still got days on that meat. Oh, two days on the meat. Um, now, I do need carbohydrates. So in order to get those carbohydrates, I think I'm going to want to make it into soup. Because it, it, it definitely is the best way to go. So let's go ahead and make these into soup. Um, with the mushroom. There we go. And there we go. Add some more, uh, some more wood to this as well. You put the little sticks in, you don't get quite as much, but, yeah, what do you want? They're little sticks. All right, so there we go. And, oh, cool, it didn't go away. So why didn't it go away? I'm not sure why. Oh, you know why it didn't go away? Because it was, it was the water. Hmm, so I think if you fill up your, your hydration, you will not use the entire soup. And then you could drink it twice and get full carbohydrates, 15 carbohydrates twice in a row. Freaking phenomenal. Loving it, loving it. Let's go ahead and... Should we put that fire out? Yeah, I think we're going to put the... Uh, you know what? Honestly, I could use some more... I'll put that right there. I could actually use some more bone infusion. So, no, we won't put the fire out. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, let's go out and see what we can find. Out and about. I should probably save the game. I should have something over here to save the game. So, I don't have to keep running all the way over to this side. Because ain't nobody got time for that. I'd like to find a banana tree. Like, I, see if we can find that banana tree. We just saved. If we get attacked and killed, not the end of the world. So let's see if we can find that banana tree. Because I, I know I saw a banana tree out here. Come on. How many is that? That's nine. Good enough. Where's that snake? Yeah, you have to reload the game for the snake to respawn. Okay. So I know I saw a banana tree out here. I see one right there. I don't know if there's a banana on it, but I do see it. Gotta be careful, man. This is where the um This is where the freaking natives are live, man. Well, I don't know if they live here, but they're definitely always over here. Yep, yeah, there we go. I knew I saw some bananas over here. Yeah. It's all coming up, Kate. Oh, more bananas! Oh, we are we are living large now. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. That is effing phenomenal. Oh, ooh. That's not good. Well, you know, we could use feathers. Grab that. Could always definitely use the feathers. I do like the bow. We'll make the bow at some point. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of the bow. All right, you know what? We just... We just got bananas. If we die now, we're going to lose the bananas. So maybe we should head back. What's over here? See, if you hear something walking, you're safe. Because I'm telling you right now, you will not hear the pumas. Or the jaguars, or anything else that jumps on you. You will not hear them. So, if you hear something walking, you are good to go. I should probably also make a real spear. I should probably, you know, I should probably cut down some trees. Start getting some logs over by the base. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. A lot of trees to cut down around here. Oh! There we go. So I was looking for coconuts the other day. Couldn't find any. Now I'm, I'm finding them everywhere. 
Oh, I'm overweight. Okay, well, that's fine because this is a good time to call the video. Guys, if you ended up enjoying the video and you want to see more, make sure you uncage the like button. Let me know in the comments. Give me, keep those tips coming. You guys are phenomenal with the tips. And, uh, you know, share this on uh, your favorite media whatever thing, Twitter, Facebook. I don't know. What are, you, what are you kids into these days? Instagram? Isn't that like a thing for the kids? Don't you? Hey, don't you kids like Instagram? Go, go on to Instagram and let them know about KJ48. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.